Hi. Drugs containing hydroxychloroquine and chloroquine have been used in malaria treatment for a long time. The use of these drugs in the treatment of COVID-19 patients has been controversial for a long time. Despite the warning of the U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA, about malaria medicines, U.S. President Donald Trump announced that he was taking hydroxychloroquine to be protected from new type of coronavirus. The Brazilian government also recommended using drugs containing both substances in non-severe cases of COVID-19. Today's topic is the effect of anti-malarial drugs on COVID-19. First of all let's learn the term. Anti-malarial medications or simply anti-malarials are a type of anti-parasitic chemical agent, often naturally derived, that can be used to treat or to prevent malaria. In the latter case, most often aiming at two susceptible target groups, young children and pregnant women. Specifically, anti-malarial drugs may be used to treat malaria in three categories of individuals. First, those with suspected or confirmed infection. Second, those visiting malaria endemic regions who have no immunity, to prevent infection via malaria prophylaxis. Third, in broader groups of individuals, in routine but intermittent preventative treatment in regions where malaria is endemic via intermittent preventive therapy. Chloroquine. Chloroquine was, until recently, the most widely used anti-malarial. It was the original prototype from which the most methods of treatment derived. It is also the least expensive, best tested and safest of all available drugs. It is believed to reach high concentrations in the vacuoles of the parasite which is due to its alkaline nature, raises the internal pH. It controls the conversion of toxic heme to hemozoan by inhibiting the biocrystallization of hemozoan thus poisoning the parasite through excess levels of toxicity. Chloroquine also has a significant antipyretic and anti-inflammatory effect when used to treat Plasmodium vivax infections and thus it may still remain useful even when resistance is more widespread. Chloroquine and COVID-19. When the disease began to spread, the effect of the drug on the disease was not fully known. The FDA made a statement like this. FDA cautions against use of hydroxychloroquine or chloroquine for COVID-19 outside of the hospital setting or a clinic trial due to risk of heart rhythm problems. We will continue to investigate risks associated with hydroxychloroquine and chloroquine use in COVID-19 and communicate publicly when we have more information. Hydroxychloroquine and chloroquine can cause abnormal heart rhythms such as quart interval prolongation and a dangerously rapid heart rate called ventricular tachycardia. These risks may increase when these medicines are combined with other medicines known to prolong the quart interval including the antibiotic azithromycin which is also being used in some COVID-19 patients without FDA approval for this condition. The research of Professor Mandipa Mera MD has finished the 20th of May 22 showed that the absence of an effective treatment against severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2 SARS-CoV-2 infection has led clinicians to redirect drugs that are known to be effective for other medical conditions to the treatment of COVID-19. 96,032 patients, mean age 53 8 years, 46 3% women, with COVID-19 were hospitalized during the study period and met the inclusion criteria. We were unable to confirm a benefit of hydroxychloroquine or chloroquine, when used alone or with a macrolide, on in-hospital outcomes for COVID-19. Each of these drug regimens was associated with decreased in-hospital survival and an increased frequency of ventricular arrhythmias when used for treatment of COVID-19. Conclusion An international study revealed that malaria medicines containing hydroxychloroquine and chloroquine used to treat COVID-19 patients increase the risk of death. Mandeep Mera from Harvard University School of Medicine, who participated in the study, explained that hydroxychloroquine and chloroquine do not benefit patients with COVID-19, and these drugs increase the risk of death according to the available findings. Mera added that these drugs also increase the risk of heart rhythm disorder. In the study, four groups of patients were separated. One group was given hydroxychloroquine and the other group was given chloroquine. In the third group, patients were treated with both drugs, as well as antibiotics. 
In the fourth group, which is the control group, no drugs were used. According to the study, the mortality rate in patients in the fourth group was determined to be 9%. The mortality rate was 18% in those treated with hydroxychloroquine and 16.4% in the chloroquine treated group. It was determined that the mortality rate was higher among the patients who were given antibiotics with these two drugs. The mortality rate in the group taking hydroxychloroquine and antibiotics was 23.8%, 22.8% in chloroquine and antibiotic areas. Scientists participating in the study concluded that hydroxychloroquine and chloroquine used against malaria increase the risk of death by 45% among COVID-19 patients. There is no scientific evidence that hydroxychloroquine and chloroquine are effective in the treatment of COVID-19. On the contrary, we observed that these drugs have severe side effects such as life-threatening heart rhythm disorders, in COVID-19 patients. Subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.